Hey folks, it's Frithgar here, how you doing? This little tiny trailer so far has 175,953 litres of wheat in it. Now, there is a mod that I have been told about by Modelica, I think he's, uh, na his name is pronounced, um, which we can use to alter the weight and everything of trailers and stuff. However, I don't currently want to use that one. What I'd like to try and do is to get this trailer to fill with all of the the wheat and everything that we can how um but it's not really working very well because the trailer is now drifting an awful lot and so in order to get it to fill up i'm gonna have to kind of wedge it in underneath this if i can i don't think this tractor is going to be strong enough to stop it from bouncing the mechanics of the game are now sort of kicking into gear and causing this trailer to bounce all over the place I would like to try and get as much as I can into it because I want to see how much it's going to bounce once we've gotten at least all of the grain that we had in here. I mean, look at that. Look, look at the suspension going. 175,000 litres of grain in there. It's, that is really, really straining this machine, isn't it? It's absolutely pushing on it. And the problem is... But as soon as I put the, the trailer under here, it's not going into the actual fill point. Um, I'm, I'm pressing R all the way through, and it's because it's drifted right out to the side. There's nothing whatsoever that I can do about that. I can try and ram the thing backwards, but that's not working either. It doesn't want to slide. So we're going to just try once more, and if that doesn't work, um, we will tip this out. And our next course of action is to go and get a different trailer... Um, I don't have one ready for this episode, um, but I will get one, and we will try and load a whole load of grain into it like we've done with this one. Well, not grain. We're going to try and get fertilizer into it. I think if I change, I think I might be able to change the um, the actual item, that, it, like the, the fill. Oh, yes, yes. We can do it. It's going to stop now, isn't it? Let me just jump over to another tractor. And I want to go to this one because we want to start this one up anyway. That one is going to carry on its little task of doing this entire field. That was our, that was the job that we set this one. It's going to carry on doing this entire. It's a very noisy tractor, isn't it? So uh, we can skip through. We'll ignore the combines. We're not going to worry about those now. This one, I was thinking about setting up a course play track for this one so that it would start doing a load of grass and sticking it in the, um, the silage area for the cows. But again, it's not something I'm going to worry about now. Let's uh, turn you off of hired help. Bring you back this way. Ooh, careful. And if I set this one, actually... Okay, this field is like the middle of nowhere. So if, if I actually... I'm, I'm just going to plonk it down right here. And it's just going to start from this point. And carry right on. It'll do a grand job. I'm, I'm absolutely certain that it'll get on just fine with this task. And it can carry on doing our planks. We've nearly actually finished plowing this field with all of our plows it is it is sort of working now if we cycle through ooh, we've got another one here that's stuck but that one's finished anyway so um let's do that we'll shut that one off he can stay there um go through these and that's all that's our battle track i love these battle tractors i especially like the mask on the back that's absolutely brilliant i do i do like that i, I love these battle tractors they're brilliant right so we got that one there Let's jump off and nip round this side and see how it's doing. Right, it's now stopped loading. How much did we get in this one in the end? Uh, oh, it's another 200,000 litres. That's actually surprised me. I didn't think we'd get that much. And where are we in relation to that one? I think, actually, he's, he's just drifted backwards a bit. Let's start this bad boy up again and see if we can... If I keep pressing R, is it going to get to the point where it's going to start loading it again um it's now bouncing a lot more than it was it's, it, it is genuine it's genuinely struggling i think we're gonna have to get the um oh i can get some more on right if i if i fight this i will have to fight it quite a bit actually um it's 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 pulling backwards i'm gonna i'm gonna um really str struggle to pull this at all aren't i <laughs> Whoa! Okay, people have told me about this. Right, what I want to do is I want to get this one 
over and we could put the big bud on this tractor couldn't we so if we go we, we need to press the we need to bring the map a little bit bigger and then you press f11 so that we can jump this one to where the big bud is which is in right next to the shop so if i i don't want to get too close let's try there nice nice excellent we did a good job there and can i go anywhere now right the case is genuinely struggling to pull this this is, this is a very powerful tractor the case 340 uh the, the magnum cdx 340 okay let's just take a look in the shop and see how big that tractor is I'm, I'm curious how many horses are we putting against this trailer at the moment in order to try and pull it uh we've gone too far oh no it's that one it is that one um we, we got the, the cvx 340 is 400 horsepower Okay, and the big bud that we've got lined up over there, that one is, there's no options on it. That's the 747, 1,100 horsepower. So hopefully the big bud can cope with this a bit better than it, um, this one can. That is, what's it going to do? It's kind of flapping a little bit, but it's not doing too bad. So if we jump off of that one and we run over to the big bud over here, we can jump on. If you remember in the last episode, I lost a bale. I lost a bale below the surface of the map. Now I have had a look in the XML file and... I'm not exactly sure how to go about retrieving that bale, but it is only 100,000 litres. That's a good a good reason to keep the bales at 100,000 litres rather than going any more than that. Uh, yes, okay. We can load it. 1,100 horsepower now. <laughs> oh, this is brilliant. 1,100 horsepower, and it's still genuinely struggling to pull it. Look at what it's doing. I think we are going to have to any more than 300,000 litres we're just not going to be able to go anywhere if we go for millions of litres we're not going to be able to do anything with it at all um, I'd like to be able to do something with the crop, I'd like to be able to move it, so let's I, mean, I was thinking that we could go and put this grain back in storage and we do something with it later on, but now I'm thinking no, we'll move this and we'll go up here because I'm not going to be able to drag that back over the, um, the tip point anyway this is just not going to work. But there is some outdoor tip points. So first of all, we will go... Actually, it's just over the road over there. We might be able to sell this grain as it is. I, did, I was thinking that we could tip it out on the ground, but now I'm thinking, no, we're not going to do that. I don't want to tip it out on the ground. Oh, I, th I thought that we'd just majorly bugged out for a second there, but it hasn't. It's just um, moved. So we want to go across the road so we can avoid the heavy traffic, and we'll go there. It's close enough. And, oh, on the other side of the fence. No! I'm trapped! <laughs> okay, so we're going to have to go back that side of the fence so that we can... Um... Now, let's, let's do this again. We're going to press F11, and I'm going to need to move it over this way a bit. If I go there, where's that going? Oh, that's perfect! Perfect, right in the doorway. And it's lined up as well. It's, it's in the right direction. So let's get this over here. How much are we going to get by selling this to... Uh, what's it called? Russell's Grains, is it? I think it's Russell's Grains. Let's go up here and that one. Russell Feed and Supply, 729. I mean, Mary's Farm is actually better, 800. That's all right. We're, we're just going to go here. We're already here now and we're lined up in the right direction. I don't think we can get a much better option than this. It'll sell pretty quickly. Once we get lined up over it and you press tip, it, it does it really quick because it does it... Um, it's like a time to tip the entire trailer, and because we're actually on 3%, it's going to be like instant. So 300,000, um, and it's selling at like $720 per 1,000 uh, litres. So it's going to be 300 times $700, whatever that amounts to. Can we get it up this hill? We get 1,100 horsepower trying to drag it. It's not, it's not going to get up the ramp. <laughs> it's not going to do it. It's simply not going to move. <laughs> I love this game. There is so much fun to be had with this game. Is are we are we're not actually on the tip point though, are we? We've got we've got to keep going. We've, we've got to get it a little bit further forward in order for it to actually tip. It's doing it. We're getting there. We're getting it. Go on a little bit more. And then we can oh, it's so close. It's so close. It's so close. Go on. Go on. You can do it. You can do it. Right. It's it's actually ready to tip. Can we do it. And oh 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 tip tip. Yes, we done it. $226,000. Not bad. Not bad at all. But anyway, this it is time to retire this trailer. We will be retiring it 
Um, our next trailer, we are going to put the full eight and a half million liters in, but I don't know which one it's going to be. It's got to be one that can actually take the fertilizer. So hopefully I'll have that ready for next episode, but it's not ready now, so we can't do it at the moment. So our next task, the Challenger MT800E Field Python using the small Welga baler. Now, I did have a bale over there, and that worked out really well. However, my main issue was that it was taking too long to do the baling. So, um, what we're going to do is we're going to go back to this again. We're going to start baling, and if you notice, I did successfully manage to alter the XML file. Not the XML file, the, the actual model. You can't do this in the XML file. You've got to actually go and uh, modify the model itself. Um, a big thank you to Modelica on, um, he, he was actually present over on the FS, is it, the FS UK forums. Um, his help over on that forum was absolutely invaluable to um, helping me able, be able to adjust this. There was someone else on there as well, and I'm really sorry if you watch my videos, and I can't remember your name offhand. I'm really sorry about that, um, but yeah. I, I had a lot of help from a lot of people who enabled me to put a much wider pickup point on this um, baler, which is absolutely fantastic because I can now go through and I can um, just grab the lot. I could have it wider than this still, but I didn't want to. I wanted to just have it, I wanted some, um, like, well, it's, it's like a nod towards realism almost, um, and that's, that's about as much as we've got, the nod. A uh, few people did say I should speed up, and yes, I do agree, and actually the main reason that I didn't speed it up is because I forgot before I started the episode. Um, we might go back and do this again in our next episode and speed it up, but I mean, we, we've got all the straw here in a massive great big heap, so next time we'll do something different. But anyway, my question that I asked you all last week was which field did you want me to get? Now if I just pause a second and we go to the escape menu, and we go back, how much is the corn now selling for? That one's now down to 487. We don't want to sell there again. Uh, 187,000 litres left in storage. So it, next time we'll try to do more. Did you want me to get field 9 or did you want me to get field 14? Now a spectacular 3,242 people answered that question. And of the 3,242, 329 wanted me to do field 9 down here. Mostly because you wanted me to plough up the track and try to eliminate as much as possible of Mary's Farm. And maybe make the field a bit bigger as well. Everybody else wanted me to do field 14, and the main request has been that I do silage. Um, a lot of people have been asking me to use a... Hang on, let me show you which one it is. A lot of people have been asking me to go into the forage harvesters and use that one, the Crone Big X 1100 Cargo. I didn't like that one when I used it last time because it danced around and moved an awful lot, and I did have trouble with it. Um... But I would like to get an oversized um, header and uh, modify a trailer so that it can take um, loads and loads of chaff. And we can have a bit of fun with doing that. Silage that field and store it right there where the cows are so that we're then ready to buy cows. And I will be getting cows very soon. We've got straw here. We're doing the straw. Um, and we, the reason that we're rebaling the straw is because, quite frankly, all those bales that we had were, were just too many. We, we don't need that kind of hassle. So if we bale them up into small bales with 100,000 litres of straw on every single bale, I feel that it would be a bit better. It's, it's just tidier. It's, it's, just, it's just generally tidier. And as a farmer, you, uh, many of you who are farmers, you probably know that it is, it is important to keep things neat and tidy. And I'm also fairly certain that every single stock farmer on the planet, if they could would bale up all their straw and hay and everything else into small bales that held 100,000 litres of straw each. Um, so that, you know, it's just, just generally easier to deal with. And, yes, um, are there any of you out there? I mean, it, I know that it's kind of um, a, a pointless question, but is there any of you out there, farmers or farm labourers, people who've worked on farming, anything to do with farms, if you could, if you had the option... Would you like to be able to compress your bales down to small bales that contain 100,000 litres of straw or hay or whatever per bale? How would you like, would you like that? Would, would that be something that would please you personally? Um, I think that's something I'd really like to know. Another task that we need to do is obviously we need to make some hay and, um, I mean, we're making silage. We're going to do a clamp of silage, um... But what I'm also thinking is maybe we should do a few bales of silage as well. And 
perhaps? I mean, we could do small bale. You can bale up small bales of grass. And then what you can do is you can uh, wrap them using the square bale wrapper. That does actually work. Um, it gives you, a, it ends up with a big bale um, rather than a small bale. But at the same time, um, it would have 100,000 litres in it. We wouldn't need to alter any other balers. Um, we could still use the small bale. I really like the idea of using the small bale baler to do this. Um, to, to bale up a load of hay and silage and stuff like that. We've got fields. We've got plenty of fields. We can mow them. And we can set, uh, we can try and set course play going in one of these fields. Now, I have been told by some people that you can use course play even on uh, something that's not a ploughed field. So that's something that we can look at doing. I don't know how to do that. It's not something that I've, I mean, I don't know anything about course play. I really do think that we need to make this a bit faster. Perhaps if we set, I mean, it's miles per hour at the moment. I think it's like 12 kilometers per hour is eight miles an hour. Um, Personally, I think it needs to be a little bit faster. So I don't want it like really fast. I don't want top speed. That would be unrealistic. We can't have we can't have it being unrealistic and just ridiculous. Um, so I feel that perhaps if we had it bailing at uh, about 15, 15 miles an hour, would that be about right? What do you think? Head into the comment section. Let me know your opinions. 15 miles an hour on small bales. Um, would that be kind of realistic enough for you? I mean, we, obviously we want it a little bit faster than we're doing. Um, but we don't we, we don't want it we don't want it to be silly um, we, we can't be silly we, 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 we've got to be sensible about this it, it does have to be sensible oh there's one thing I want to do before I do any more bailing let's just switch all that off uh, I want to go here and I'm, I hope I've got it I really do if I haven't got it I am going to be slightly embarrassed uh, I don't have it there um, I've got a feeling I don't actually have it available which is a bit of a shame um, just go through. It's the problem. I got so many tractors. It takes ages to actually go through and um look at them all. Right. I don't think it's in here. I had people asking me if I could get the quad bike back. Um, the modded one that I used previously. Um, Lambo mods, by the way, is just that one. People keep asking me that. So there you go. It's just the auto load trailer. Um, a lot of people keep asking me to use the quad bike and jump over these here. The, this straw. Um, or did ask me because it kind of looks like sand dunes so we don't appear to have it I thought I, I can't remember where it was I thought that it was under cars but it's not under cars so this is one that I haven't actually used yet um, the top speed on this one is 64 oh no 46 miles an hour rather slow this one was on mod hub but then it disappeared and I don't know why it disappeared I'm guessing maybe it was a copyright type thing or something like that no idea but we'll get that one and we come back out and then we will go to I think it's the lizard road rage is probably the fastest one 74 74 that's 74 as well we've got a nice Toyota Hilux there uh, this one is 99 so we'll go for that one and I think what color are we gonna go for um yeah I really don't know perhaps if we go for that and uh, oh purple yeah that, that's a good color uh, design color as well the design color could be red and we'll go standard, we'll go twin GT stripe. So main color is a bright yellow with red on it and purple rims. I think that'd look pretty good. We go for that, yes, okay. Back out of there, and again. So our tractor is doing well. We've done all that strip all the way down and we've only got that much left on the field. We'll have this done in no time. I swear that that poor lady there is going to be absolutely I don't, she's going to be stir crazy. I mean, this this thing driving at an old small track like this over this kind of distance, that's that's going to send anyone slightly loopy. I would think it certainly it certainly wouldn't do a lot for my sanity. I know that much. Um, right, we we are slight we we're, we're cycling we're cycling through to go to. I've, I've gone the wrong way, haven't I? I should have cycled the other. There we go. What a beautiful car! That thing is gorgeous. Uh, before we do that one though, we want to do the Land Rover. This here is an English Land Rover. A Land Rover 109. I don't know why this one was removed from Mod Hub. I can see no reason that this would have been removed. Uh, let's just take it down here and see what it does. It's probably just going to hit the fence, isn't it? <laughs> oh, yes! Fantastic! And it landed on its feet. ha <laughs> ha! Oh, this is brilliant. We haven't actually done this yet on this map, have we? We haven't sort of just gone around and caned it around with a fast vehicle. 
um, trying to do a few jumps. I mean, I think we did when we first start, took a look at the map. Landro was going through here. We're going to go back to those um, the straw dunes, like the sand dunes, with the faster car. I think that's what we want to put into there. But this one right here, this is going down into the gullies, down the bottom. This is the kind of ground that you would go through with the Land Rover anyway. Ooh, that's bogged it down. That has really slowed things down. I think I've turned off... Um, the, yes, I did. I turned off the, the for real modules. I, I think I turned them all off, actually. Um, so that we're just on the um, the map uh, deciding what the mud and everything does. And that is purely based on the map. It's not on anything else. There's not a lot happening down here in this gully. It's, it's kind of... Oh, there, there's a little bit down here. Can we go down this way? Oh, there's water. There's actual water. Let's see what it does. It might end up that we lose our Land Rover down there. Come on, let's go down. Um, this is actually a bit dull now. It's, it's not doing a great deal. Let's, let's, let's see if we can just launch it straight into the mud and the, the water and everything else. Oh, oh, I thought it was going to go on its side. No, it's not on its side. And don't drive too deeply. In. There we go. Can I switch you off? No, I can't. Broken. <laughs> I love that. I love that it says broken. Look at the, um, that's the glance mod. There's quite a few people have been asking what it is in the top uh, left hand corner. That is the glance mod. Um, it just shows you at a glance everything that you got. And there are various different settings that you can use for it as well. Okay, so the Land Rover is better at doing jumps than the Ford uh, Lizard Road Rage. Isn't this supposed to be a Mustang or something like that? Um, tell you what, let's go there and F11. And we want to move over near the cows. Let's dump you in the middle of the cow field a minute. And then we can go from here. Um... I think this is supposed to be a Mustang car or something like that. I, I think that's what it's called, isn't it? I'm not entirely sure. I, I really don't know very much about cars. Those of you who watched my Car Mechanic Simulator episode on Tuesday will probably realise that I don't know a great deal about cars. I know some. I sort of remember from having to help my dad uh, fix cars. I do remember some small details about it, but I don't remember a great deal. Um, so it, it's like the basics of how cars and engines fit together, I do know, but um, names and stuff like that, it's, it's, it's really not my strong point. It's, it's not something that I'm, I'm like really familiar with. So, yeah. Um, as for makes and models of cars, it's, yeah, not a chance. Just not going to happen. Right, here we go. Sand dunes and... <laughs> oh, yeah. Excellent. <laughs> Brilliant. I, it, I do love, I, I am really enjoying this series, I am enjoying just being able to write, you know what, I fancy jumping a vehicle, and getting it, and going and jumping the vehicle, and it's, it is great fun, it is awesome fun to be able to do that, right, that's, um, seen better days, tell you what, we'll leave that one there, and we'll go and carry on with our bailing, we can bail round the car, and then, maybe, just maybe, by bailing round the car, it'll, um, allow us to, it, it'll sort of clear all the straw all the way around the, um, the car. Because this baler is really good. It, it does have quite a wide pickup on it, so it might be able to do it. Who knows? We'll, we'll see. Uh, I haven't asked my weekly question this week. Um, that's a bit of a problem, because I was in such a rush to kind of get things started, I haven't actually thought of a weekly question. So we're going to have to think about a weekly question. Um, what do you want me to do? Ooh, I know. Um... Now, I asked you about which hour. We asked you about the field over there. And so we're, we're going to be doing... We're going to do some hay and we're going to do some silage. Um, and we're going to do some bale silage as well and things like that. So um, I don't want to ask just, you know, pointless questions that I already know uh, what the answer is going to be. I was just thinking, oh, maybe we could do... Do you want me to do 5,000 or 10,000 cows? I already know the answer to that. If I ask that question, the answer will come back, do 10,000 cows. Uh, we, we all know that's what you're all going to pick. So th there's no point in even asking that question. Um, so, hmm. I apologise for this. I, I don't normally do this. I normally have everything prepared beforehand. Uh, well, I, I, I don't. Um, there's, there's no point in even pretending that I have everything prepared be beforehand because you know full well that I don't. I, um, yeah, there's all sorts of things that I forget to do before I start an episode, and I just apologise for it. So... Let's have a think about this. We, we can we can chat while I, while I think about this. What do I do for my weekly question? What's it going to be? Um, if I bring up the map a minute, maybe this will um, lend me some... Ooh! Ooh, I know. I've got an idea. Um, the timer has now just gone off to say that we've um, 
we're, we're almost out of time, so we, we do need to kind of wrap things up a bit. Now, I had someone, I, I've had several people suggesting, actually, that I should change a couple of fields and, like, change things around a little bit. Now, this is something that I won't be able to set the hired help doing. It's something that we're going to have to do ourselves. I might, just might, be able to um, change a couple of bits and pieces um, in order to... Uh, well, hang on, let me just pick this one up. Uh, there we go. I might just be able to change a few bits on the plow. Now, I'm still not entirely certain that I understand how I have made the width of this machine wider in order to gather up all this straw. I, I genuinely don't know. I mean, look at this. It's, it's changed there, and I think that's to do with the fact that the car is sitting on top of it. Um, so, I'm not really sure what's going on with that, but... Uh, I'll tell you what, let's reset that car a minute. Before before we do anything else, let's reset the car. Uh, if I click there, there we go. So I reset that one, yes. Okay, and there's a Land Rover kicking around here somewhere as well. So if I reset that one, it's not going to say broken up on the top. Okay. Um, people have been asking me to plough some fields and join some fields together. So if we just take a look here a minute. Let's go and visit this. Um, really you. Now, this is our field of corn right there. And the other fields, we've got one over there. We've got this one here. Oh, hang on. No, that one's got a fence around it. There's a great big fence right in the way in... Oh. Okay. Not quite sure why it's kind of like that. But anyway, there's a great fence in the way. And we can't do anything about a fence. Uh, what about over there? Let's... um. Oops. And, yeah. So how are we going to join fields? Let's take a look at field 27. Now, field 27, if we go that way, there's fence and there's stuff in the way. If we go this way, we could expand this field out. There's no fence, not at the moment anyway. And if we keep going, keep going. Uh, we've got the pigs there. I'm not sure we're going to use pigs. Oh, yes, we will. Um, I'm not going to... I'm not planning to do very much to pigs. We'll, we'll kind of get a load of them. We'll stuff a load of grain in there and maybe buy some straw or something like that. I don't know. And, um, and then they'll be done with. We're not going to. We're not going to like worry about them too much. Um, I'm going as far. Oh, hang on. Why am I? Why am I? Look, see, I can I can go faster and I can stand up as well. I I can zoom up. This is brilliant. I love this. Okay, so we can. Um, why didn't I just do this to start with? It would have been a lot easier. So we've got this field here, and then there's a big load of grass in between, but there's nothing else. And then it joins over onto field 16. There's no fences. No fences at all. So we could join. Well, look at this open expanse of grass all the way up here. This is fantastic. So we could join field 16 and another one over here. Uh, is there any fences? There's no fences over here. That's all fine. There is a fence up through there, so we can't join that bit. But we could, jo so we could join a whole load of the fields together. And if we could, we could like plow in a great big strip up there and all the way over here, all the way back again. And so we make this into a one massive great big field. That would be the biggest field that we have on the map. And um, that would require me changing a plow to the, like the working area of a plow, which that is actually something that I think would be really, really difficult for me to accomplish. I don't know if I'd be able to do that. But I do know now that there are people out there who are willing to help me make some changes. So I may ask one or two of you who have aided me with making some small changes to mods in the past, if you can help me um, change something in the future so that we can do um, joining those fields together. And that doesn't lead, that doesn't bring me any closer to my weekly question. I'm, I'm still trying to think of a weekly question because now that I've decided all that, I'm, I'm sort of thinking, well, that's not really a weekly question. We can't say, say oh, but I tell you what. Um, okay, I've got a weekly question. Do you want me to make, um, hang on, let me just leap over here. We'll finish doing the bailing next time. We don't need to worry about it this time. Uh, that is all joined together. That's fine. Um, there's no fences or traffic over here, so... We could certainly join that lot together. We just need to find out about that bit down there, which is this way. Can I go faster? Yes, I can. 21 times run speed. Look at that. Look at that. That's brilliant. Oh, that's a train. Uh, we can't plow up a train track. And there's a fence down here as well. So we come through here. Um, right. So basically, we've got that area there. 
Do you want me to make our giant field at the top of the map around this area or in the middle of the map around this area? Because we can sort of do, I think we can do a loop around the livestock market as well. If we go here, let's take a look. We do have fence around the livestock market itself, but the rest of it, uh, actually this is a main road. We've, we've got the fence here, so it'll come to the edge of field 11 and it'll run over this way, inside the fence all the way around here. Probably you're going to get a bit of lag on this section, um, but yeah. So that's kind of the outside, that's like the outside run of this one. It'll go all the way up around there and around there and then back down. Um, yeah, that area there. So middle of the map around there or top of the map up around here. Which one do you want me to do as a large field? We'll plow it up. We'll, we'll can create new fields and we'll plow it up. Um, top of the map or middle of the map? It's your vote. It's your game. Head into the comment section down below. Let us know which one you want and why. And of course, don't forget to actually cast your vote in the top right hand corner. There we go. We have a weekly question at last. Right. Um, I should have gotten that ready beforehand, so I apologise for not having it ready beforehand, but we've been having, well, I hope you've been having a lot of fun. I personally have been having oodles of fun today. I have really enjoyed this episode. And if we just go over here a little bit further, there's, it looks like there's straw underneath the map, and I am wondering if we're going to gather all of that up. Because if you sort of look in the distance, it does look like we're leaving bits behind, and... I'm not sure exactly what we can do about that. I suspect it's something to do with the working height or the sheer quantity of straw that we made on the map when we opened it or opened all the bales up or something like that. Um, but if we leave this now, I'll alter the XML again on this baler. This baler is taking a lot of... The, the, the actual mod itself is taking a lot of abuse, let's be fair. It's, it's, it, is, it is taking a lot of abuse. We've got a load of bales here. How many have we done today? Um go through here 15 bales as 1.5 million liters of straw we still got all that straw in the middle um, I will modify the baler again so that we can go a little bit faster with it and that will be for tomorrow's episode but anyway if you enjoyed today's episode then please head down below and give me a like and if you really enjoyed it then please tell your friends all about me get them to come and watch as well that would be awesome but until next time thank you very much for watching this is Rivgar. Goodbye and see you later.